Okay guys, I'm back with another video real quick. Um, I went to uh, a thrift store and to Walmart. So I just want to show you guys what I got. Um, but first, I want to show you guys something. Uh, if you watched uh, one of my Five Below videos that I made recently, I showed you this, which is a jewelry hanger. It has a hook at the top. And I showed you that I was putting my washi tape in it. And actually, these little pockets were holding four or five rolls. Plus, it has these big pockets down at the bottom. But when I went to go hang it at my desk, which is in the living room, it looked kind of awkward out there. It didn't match with anything as we have mostly earth tones out there and stuff. So I'm like, what am I going to use this for? I have a jewelry box for my jewelry, and I don't really want to put it in, in this. So um, I decided uh, to put my lip balm collection, and that way I can see them all. And it'll hang my, with my, my makeup, my vanity, so that, you know, I can see everything. And the, the teal matches my theme over there. So, how cool is that? So, I put the, the tubes at the top. And then the big pockets at the bottom, I put the, you know, the weird shaped ones. The cupcakes, the Hershey's Kiss, the latte cup, the little jars and containers and tins. And the Eos and the Revos and the dollar store fruit one. So that's that. So I don't know if you guys uh, are thinking of a way to store your lipsticks or or your uh, lip balms. Works really good. Thought I'd show you that real quick. Okay, now I'm going to show you um, what I picked up at the thrift store. I just want to tell you this real quick story. Um, when we were in there, uh, a lady announced at the front with one of the people who worked there. He said, I'd like to make an announcement if anyone, everyone could pay attention. And she said she had lost a necklace, and she was in tears. And uh, she said it, it, it was very, it meant a lot to her. So it's its a huge thrift store. It's, it's a weird kind of thrift store. They bring out these big bins. Everyone goes through them all. Then they take the bins back. And then, like, every hour they bring out another big bin. And there's just rows and rows of bins, and everyone just digs through them. It's a madhouse, and it's huge. It's a huge place. I think it's where... Um, where stuff doesn't sell at their Goodwill stores, then it goes there and the prices are drastically reduced. You buy things by the pound. So um, we like to go there. So I was digging through the bins and I found wooden stamps and everyone knows how pricey these can be. Um, so I found this little fairy. And she's super cute. I found a scarecrow and he's a nice big size. And I found a Curious George. I love Curious George. We all do in this house. My daughter loved him when she was little. My son loves him. I love him. Um, so it says hand stamped by and Curious is George. He has, a, he has a stamp in his hand. And then you write your name underneath it wherever you stamp it at. And they were like literally five, ten cents, something like that. Oops. And then I found... An unopened box, I mean, package of shamrock stickers. You get a hundred, no, 792 in here. So a couple of sheets. I thought that was a really good deal for like five, ten cents. So, and then I found this super cool shopping bag. I have no idea what it says besides the me so pretty part. Okay, sorry guys. I had to go, uh, the oven beep. My chocolate chip cookies were ready, so... I think I was telling you guys a story. Um, yeah, so we were there, and they made the announcement that she had lost a necklace, and this is a really big thrift store. And I looked down out of the whole store. I mean, I guess it had to be found by someone. Um, and it was right by my feet. So I bend down and pick it up, and I hold it up in the air, and I'm like, is this it? And she comes running over, and she's like, oh, my gosh, yes. Yeah. She's like... She gives me a big hug and she whispers in my ear through tears. She says um, that her mom had passed away and that was the last that she had of her. And uh, that just, oh my gosh. And uh, she, it, it was gorgeous. I mean, it was heavy. It was solid gold and it was about an inch and a half uh, long. It was a teardrop shape and about a half an inch, no, about, an, yeah, maybe an inch, no, half an inch wide. And it was covered with all these diamonds. It was gorgeous. I don't know why she would be wearing it to a thrift store. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, you know, 
not judging or anything, but something like that. I don't, I don't know. I would have probably only wear it on special occasions, but she's not me. So, um, but anyway, yeah, it was absolutely beautiful. And she said, you know, besides the sentimental value, it was, it's worth a lot. So she was really happy. And I was, I was really happy that I was able to find it. Um, anyway, so here is a super cute shopping bag that I found. The only words I understand are the me so pretty. And I think it's a factory like in China. Um, I know they have a lot of factories over there. Hence the reason why all of our stuff is made over there. Um, and uh, it says things on it like registered. Your future is shiny. Blue Q. Uh, then the other side is my favorite. It's a woman on a moped with some Misa Pretty boxes strapped to the back. And look at that little bear. And down there, there's like a little skunk face, and there's hummingbirds. And it says, overseas delivery, flown in daily, fresh from the factory. I just thought that was super cool. And these are little pockets. This one says, lucky potions. And you could put like pen or pencils in there and your shopping list in there. So, yeah, I thought that was really cool. And it was like 50 cents. All their bags and stuff, whether it's a duffel bag, backpack, purse, or shopping bags, they're all 50 cents. So, um, I got that. And that's the last of the stuff I got at the thrift store. And then we went over to Walmart. <clears throat> Excuse me. And they had these. There should be one more. Yeah. They had these on sale for 50 cents. And they're just the small ones. But two small ones make one big one. And their big ones are a dollar. So two small ones for a dollar was a good deal instead of two dollars. So got pumpkin pie and banana nut bread, banana nut bread, another pumpkin pie, two of each. And these are for the wax milk burners. I like using them over anything to make my house smell good. They work really well. Um, and then I needed a binder to put my stickers in. Uh, a big one. See, I use these for my sticker collection. If you guys are looking for a way to store your stickers that makes them easily accessible when you're making your pocket letters, you can just flip through and see what you want to use. They sell these little binders in Target for like three bucks, and then they sell the dividers in, in their uh, stationery section. Sometimes they have these binders up front in the, the uh, dollar bins for three dollars. So I think I bought this one in the dollar bin, and this, no, this one was over in their stationery section, and this one was in the three dollar bin. So what I do is I line it with paper and then fill them up with all my stickers. Let's see, it's well filled with stickers. And uh, I ran out of space and that was about six months ago. So now I have like 600 packages of stickers and they're just sitting in their wrappers, you know, and well, not 600, but you know what I mean. So, I found this super cute binder in Walmart. It was $4.74. And the reason why I wanted a bigger one this time with the bigger sheet protectors is because I wanted one that would fit the big sticker sheets too. So, I'll use the little ones for the little sticker sheets and then the big one for the bigger sheets. Because there are a lot of bigger sheets too available. So, that's what I do with my stickers. And then I found this for the top of my desk. I should have got two. It would have covered the whole top of my desk because everything on my desk, all the holders and cases and stuff is teal. So I'm going to use this to craft on and stuff. And I might start doing my videos up there too. It's a nice background for videos. Okay, so that's all the fun stuff. And then we got my son some clothes. I thought I would show you real quick. Um, I opened it already because he's wearing one of the pairs today. But this is a six-pack of the Garanimal socks. And they say, like, swish, and there's some camo. I'm not a huge fan of camo, but the rest are super cute. <clears throat> Excuse me. He has one of his new outfits on already, but I'll show you what else. And they have such good prices on little baby boy clothes and little baby girl clothes. Because I just can't see. I mean, every now and then a nice outfit from the Gap or whatever is nice, but like a holiday outfit, but just regular day-to-day -day clothes, they grow so fast, especially my son, he's a big boy, 
He's not even two years old and he's in three and four T clothing. So, um, we got him some new shorts and shirts because he was growing out of everything real fast. He was born close to 11 pounds. He's a real big boy. Um, so these blue shorts, blue plaid shorts, uh, these just plain tan shorts and their prices are so good, $4.88 for the shorts. And then these, they have dinosaurs on them. And then the pair that he has on today is like blue, like this kind of plaid, but it's a dark blue and red and white going through it. They're, they're cute. And then the shirt that he has on is an astronaut, but inside the astronaut face is a lot like a picture of a real tiger. So it's, it's kind of cool. And then he got this t-shirt. I like some t-shirts. We just needed a few things to add to what he already has. He has a lot of clothes as it is, but um, I like more of the plain t-shirts than the t-shirts with all the craziness on it. But he's a little boy, so some craziness is okay. But my favorite are the plaids. In the winter, he wears a lot of the long sleeve with khaki pants. And in the summer, I like these short, light uh, ones. I just think it looks classy and nice <clears throat> rather than t-shirts all the time. And here's a red one. And here's a nice collared shirt. I like collared shirts too. So that is it. That's my haul from Walmart and what's it? The thrift store. Okay. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. And again, happy Valentine's. Bye.